What happened August 29, 2005 should never have happened anyway. There shouldn't have been a Katrina-like storm, and there should never be a Katrina-like storm. It's become a familiar refrain. What happened here was caused not by a hurricane, but by decades of neglect. Levees, flood walls, pumps that were never tested. No one knew how drastically they'd fail. The system around New Orleans was a system in name only. Colonel Robert Sinkler commands the Army Corps of Engineers Hurricane Protection Office. For five years, they've been building dozens of miles of flood walls and surge barriers. They've also been rebuilding their reputation among some of their staunchest critics, like Sandy Rosenthal, executive director of the group Levees.org. The U.S. Army Corps beefed up its effort to, to a sense of urgency. The Corps' current hurricane protection plan has a completion date of next summer. But even then, the mayor of this city says more work needs to be done. The big picture for us is Category 5 hurricane protection, which we don't have yet. We believe that we need it. We're going to continue to press the president and Congress for it. The core effort has not been free of controversy. In particular, these pumps installed at the mouth of the 17th Street Canal have raised the ire of government watchdogs. The pumps are not a permanent fix to keep water out of the city's basin, and critics say they'll fail in a major storm. The core plans to replace them by 2014. In the meantime, Rosenthal is worried. No pumps, that means water rises to the top of those levees and very likely those levees will fail just as they did during Katrina. Everyone agrees the big question on this anniversary, could it happen again, has no good answer. It will never ever end and we're, we're never really going to be able to say that this project's complete. The existence of New Orleans may in fact be threatened over the next 100 years. The U.S. Army Corps is protected from financial liability should its flood protection fail. So we can only hope they do a good job because should it fail, the only obligation the U.S. Army Corps has is to say they're sorry and, and, and for us to give them more money. But more money and the best engineers in the world may still be no match for the unpredictability of Mother Nature. Jason Bronis, the Associated Press, New Orleans.